In Broward County tonight, the focus is on increasing testing capabilities as more people line up to get swabbed due to the surge in COVID cases. Many are looking for immediate results, but can those results be trusted? CBS 4's Joe Murray asked the expert. She is live tonight at a pop-up site in Wilton Manors. Joan? Yeah, Elliot, testing, it is a very hot topic now. We went online to find out if we could find a rapid testing site. We came up with this location. Uh, you go in, you pay out of pocket, you can get a rapid test in 15 minutes, or you may have to wait a couple of days for the PCR test. But it is just one of many options available if you think you are COVID positive. COVID testing coming back big time. This is what it looked like for the grand opening of the drive through site at Markham Park. They're doing the PCR test. Your throat is swabbed and you get your results in a day or two. How long can you afford to wait? Um, not much, an hour, hour, hour and a half. Andrea Caldera needs to know if she's sick. She just got back from Disney World with her children. Uh, but I'm having sore throat, runny nose and headaches. Broward Health Department is ramping up testing to meet the surging demand with the Delta variant spreading fast and making younger people sick in South Florida. But, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. But are we on the road to lockdown? Seems like we went through all this last year. FAU's Dr. Joanna Drawa says this time around we have better treatment and a vaccine. This is unfortunately the nature of viruses. They're trying to outsmart us and infect as many people as they can. So it's back to the testing line. Or if you can't wait, there's always a rapid test. Many over-the-counter tests are available at your local pharmacy. Or there are pop-up locations like this one, Fast Test Now. We went in and were told it's a nasal swab like this. Cost is $99 out of pocket. But are these tests accurate? I mean, the advantage of the rapid test is the prompt response. And, you know, for a lot of people, if you get that yes right away, it, it gives you that sort of like, okay, I know what I need to do. Um, you know, the problem is when you get the no. Um, and, you know, we know that they're not as sensitive in people that don't have symptoms. So, you know, the PCR is sort of the more definitive. So you got these pop-up locations for rapid testing. Also, a lot of the pharmacies do rapid testing, but you got to call around. Not all of them have it, and you may have to make an appointment. Also, the free test, like you saw at Markham Park, they're going to be opening up C.B. Smith Park tomorrow. That, again, drive through free. You may have a wait in the line. That opens tomorrow in Pembroke Pines. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we talk to a father and daughter who have to get back to Canada about their experience here getting a rapid test. That's all new at 6. Reporting live in Wilton Manors tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.